morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is hopefully the day where we get some parts for the LS400 and for this. Fingers crossed. I've been waiting months for the LS400 stuff and if it comes today I'll be through the moon excited to start working on it. All right, for those of you that stayed to the end of the last video I uploaded, I mentioned that the next video that was gonna be coming out was gonna be a big one, and that we had a lot of awesome stuff happening this week with the LS400 and the Soar. Now you guys see the title of this video, so you know why you're here, but I figured I would mention some of the parts that came for the Soar today for the manual swap. In here, we have an entire kit for an OEM throwout bearing. In here, I actually found this on eBay. This is a brand new OEM uh, kind of like inner shift boot that goes under your trim. That's for a Mark IV Supra, but it should work for the Soar as well since it's pretty much the same thing. And then in here is a rear main seal. I got this from Titan, Titan Motorsports, because as you guys saw in the last video, my rear main seal on the Soar is not looking so hot and this is definitely something I needed to change. And on top of that, the other thing that's in here is a speed sensor for the R154 transmission. Now we got that transmission brand new from Japan, zero miles, the thing is perfect, but it didn't come with a speed sensor. And because that transmission is from a later model JZX100, it'll bolt up just fine to the Soar, but it's gonna need some tweaking with little things like the speed sensor there. The speed sensor that's on the car now is different. This is gonna have to be kind of adapted onto the car to make my speedometer work, which I really wanna make it work with the manual trans because the cluster in that car is so cool and it would be a shame for it to not work, so. But it's towards the end of the day right now. I'm about to head back to the house, but tomorrow I'm gonna pick this video back up because as you guys saw in the title of this video, the crate is coming for the LS400 and it's got so much stuff in it from Japan. And I get to finally show you guys what I have been scheming up for the past, I think, three or four months now. I started collecting stuff for that crate back in like September. So this is a long time coming and I'm so stoked. All right, it's the next day. The guy actually woke me up. It's super early in the morning. And he was like, hey, just giving you a 30 minute heads up. Uh, I'm 30 minutes away. So I'm rushing there. I gotta grab some money and uh, we're gonna go see what's in the crate. I'm so, I'm so excited for this. So today is a big day. And when I started collecting these parts, I started way back in September. And from September all the way until now, this has been building up to this moment. And the box has finally arrived. Now, if you notice something, all over this box is plastered Florida Century. And obviously I probably made the title of this video in correspondence to this, but you guys, some of you guys, might get the idea of where this is going. I am so hyped for this. I'm nervous as heck and I hope that this works because there's not a lot of examples of this being done before. But if I can pull this off, I think it's gonna be one of the coolest things I could have done to the LS400. I'm also really nervous that everything made it here in one piece and isn't destroyed because this box has a lot of stuff in it and clearly they just stack things on top of each other to try and get the size down. So fingers crossed, everything's wrapped up really nicely and uh, nothing's destroyed. I don't know. I want to unbox it and just kind of see if everything's good. So I'm going to start peeling this stuff off and let's get opening. Do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> So I can like hardly contain <laughs> my excitement right now. I'm so pumped. So far, I mean, I, all I did was take the top off, but everything looks pretty good. Obviously the hood is on top. Maybe you guys will know what it is. 
judging from this little logo here. It might be hard to see on camera, but. God, I'm so excited for this. So if you guys couldn't tell already, I'll just come out and say it. If these signs didn't already point to it enough. We are Toyota Century front end swapping the LS400. I'm like over the moon excited about doing this swap. The LS400 was missing something, and to me, this is definitely it. I'm all about being different and doing different things to my cars. I like to think that I have kind of a track record of doing that. So this fits me pretty well, I guess. Little background on the GZG50 Toyota Century is that the chassis is very similar to the LS400 generation that I have. The suspension is the same, the chassis is extremely similar. So that's why I thought doing this conversion would be super different and would just make this car look that much cooler. So I guess the main reason for me wanting to do this was just to kind of be different and mess around with this car. I've always enjoyed doing things kind of outside the box and this definitely fits the bill. Now in terms of installing this on the car, I don't think that this is gonna be easy at all, but I think that it's gonna make for a very cool series and I'm really excited to get into it. I had a blast making the whole slam series of that car and uh, it was there was a lot of hurdles to jump through, but we were able to get through them and that car is now the lowest car that I've ever owned. And uh, as much of it is a handful to drive, it's also one of my favorite cars ever. Oh, moving down the line, we'll start with the hood. The Toyota Centuries have extremely large front grills and also some really cool emblems, as you saw in the video. Some people call this a Phoenix, some people call it a Majestic Chicken. Doug DeMiro once called it a Majestic Chicken. And then I think the front emblem on the car suits me really well because it's very gothic and just has a nice gold C. The condition of the hood, everything is pretty much straight. There's not a single real bad dent on this hood at all. There's one tiny little dent, and I probably can't even pick it up on camera, but it's somewhere right here, right in this vicinity. The guys that boxed this up, they did a really good job. There was multiple levels and layers to the box and everything was screwed down and bubble wrapped and everything came here in relatively one piece, which I'm really stoked on because that was a very far shipment. Next up on the list is the front bumper. Now these front bumpers compared to the LS 400s are very small, I guess you would say. They're very low profile compared to the LS 400s front bumper. And I think that partly has to do with the size of the grill on this car is much, much bigger than the LS 400s grill. Now the overall condition of this front bumper is pretty good. There's a little scuff right here, but the good thing is that all of the chrome is in good shape all around the bumper itself. This car, the Toyota Centuries came with a lot of chrome and uh, I'm a huge fan of that, so. Once I have all this stuff on the car, I plan to get the whole car repainted. Uh, same color, black, I'm not doing anything crazy. Not after what I went through with the Soar, but anyways. Some of these pieces will need body work, like I said here. Got a little scuff, but not too bad. Bumper's still straight, there's no cracks, which I'm stoked on. And all of the chrome is in good shape. Now in these boxes are the headlights and the corner markers. I'll open those after I go through the other parts. But uh, now these pieces I saw, they were really cheap, so I just kind of got them anyways. Um, I wasn't sure if they were headlight brackets or if it was like a core support. I know that this is a crash bar. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna need these for installing the front bumper and getting all of the headlights and stuff to line up. So I got it anyways. I think this piece was like 30 bucks and this was 20 bucks. So I wasn't really like worried about spending money on it. I just got it just in case I need it. The nice thing is that I don't really need hardware because since it's a Toyota, 
the LS400 stuff, all the hardware will just work, which I'm pumped on. Next up, we'll move on to the passenger side fender. These guys were very meticulous in pointing out little scuffs and dents and stuff. I mean, there's like nothing there. It's like the world's tiniest little dot. And right here, it's a very, very light scratch. So I'm not worried about those at all. The point is the fender is straight. There's no huge dents. All the little nicks and stuff could be body worked out extremely easily. Like I said, these cars have a lot of chrome. So there's chrome trim around the fender. There's chrome going all the way along the bottom of the car, which the LS400 doesn't have this. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to kind of get the body line of the LS400 to match on this fender, but we'll see. I won't worry about that until we're actually installing this stuff. So the driver's side fender, once again, in really good shape. All the stuff that they circled really doesn't even exist. Like, I know what they're talking about. There's a little bit of scuffing going on here, but the fender itself is straight. I think there's kind of a, a dent here, but it doesn't even really show up on camera. And there's a little tiny nick here. So they were being overly cautious with circling mis imperfections and stuff. But for a 20 year old car, I think that these pieces are in really good shape. Now this, this is something that did not come with the Century. And you can probably tell for the VIP guys that recognize that logo. This is a uh, super old school Junction Produce rear bumper that I had found. And this was really cheap. It has a little bit of damage on it. There's like a little bit of cracking here, a little bit of cracking here. These are fiberglass. Some cracks down here. And then a little crack right there. If you were to look at my LS400 from a side profile, I'll actually put a picture in right here. You'll notice that the front of the car and the skirts line up in terms of the height but the rear of the car the rear bumper sits like two or three inches higher and because of that i wanted to kind of bring that back down and make the whole car look level when it's laying out on the ground and that's why i got this rear bumper this rear bumper sits probably three or four inches lower and we might have to do some trimming because of that but i'm okay with it this bumper's already got some damage on it it was only like i think 90 bucks I got it for a steal. So if we need to do some work to it, trim it down, make it fit, we can definitely do that. Now I also don't have an exhaust for the LS400. I haven't had one for months because I just physically couldn't drive with one. Um, and I could get one made and have it like tucked up into the body of the car. But because I knew that I was getting this rear bumper and this rear bumper had dual cutouts for exhaust on the back, I didn't want to start making the exhaust without knowing where the exhaust was going to go. So once we have this mounted and mocked up, we can kind of start the exhaust on that car and get that built out. I think having like quad oval exhaust tips coming out the back would be kind of like a crazy style to add to this car, which I think would be really cool. So I guess this one was kind of an oopsie on my part. Uh, I thought that I needed a grill, so I bought a grill and then I bought the hood, thinking that they would take the grill out of the hood because all I bought was the hood, uh, but they included it. So now I have two grills. Um, I don't necessarily need it, but I guess it's not bad to have in case something happens to the other grill. What is nice about this one though is that it has the uh, hood prop, the, the hood release on it, which I don't know if this one has it. Oh. I can see it, it does. <laughs> so scratch that as well. I guess I have a spare grill, so that's cool, I guess. So the last piece to the Century swap is the headlights and the corner lights. I was able to find all of them. It looks like they came with their own lights as well, which is sick. I'm pretty sure that the LS400 lights would work, but I didn't want to take that chance. So I'm glad that they came with them. Here are the corner lights. These go down in here. Oh, these are heavy. Oh, these, these might be glass. Yep. Woohoo! Fancy, fancy boys. Man, those are bigger than I expected. Well, these are in really good shape from what it looks like. They got all the tabs stoked on that. And they come with their own uh, lights and all the plugs and everything. So that's awesome. What I really want to do is kind of like lift these things up and kind of mock them up and try and make a front end 
without actually putting them on anything. I just want to see what everything looks like when it's all together, if that's even possible. So I'm going to grab all this stuff and uh, see if I can surround it around the hood and try and see this come together. All right, this took absolutely forever to do. Uh, I underestimated how tough it was going to be to get everything to line up without it being on a car, but it did it. Here it is. So I got the majority of the front end kind of mocked up. I took out the uh, corner marker lights and put those in. I remember that I was able to find a really, really nice driver side one, but the passenger side one, I couldn't find that was perfect. It's kind of hard to show up on camera, but it's got a little bit of yellowing to it. Not enough where it's bad and I could probably get it buffed out and it still look pretty good. Or I'll just get them like tinted or something, put some yellow or I don't know do something to it but uh <laughs> overall i'm really happy with the way everything came in from shipment uh there was really no noticeable damage to anything and i'm really hyped on that i did notice though once everything was kind of mocked up a couple things that i might already have to trim in terms of fitting these onto the ls400 everything kind of has a similar shape but i've noticed that some things might be a little different this, for example, this little nub on the edge here, this might have to get trimmed off and made flush. Uh, I looked at pictures of the LS400 and I don't have this little nub, so I probably would run into an issue of that hitting the door, but we'll figure that out once we actually start taking the LS400 apart and starting to try and fit these things up. The front bumper of this is very similar to the front bumper on the LS400. It just has a lot lower of a dip and the fender is absolutely massive in the front, which uh, makes up for that. That and the headlights are huge on this. They look a lot smaller in pictures, but in person they're gigantic. I would try and fit those, but I have no way of suspending them. And because they're glass, I really don't want them to crack. So I'm just gonna leave those as is right now. They're both in like mint condition, which I'm really hyped on. Still waiting on a barrel for the LS400, so I can't bring it here and try and mock this stuff up now. I might be doing this at the house. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm just so happy that this stuff came in today. I've been waiting months for this and it's finally happening. I'm so ready. This is gonna be so awesome. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am to get started on this. We're gonna be the first Toyota Century front end swapped LS400, it's a mouthful, in the USA. All right, so it's the next day. We actually just had a PDR guy come to take out a couple dents on our cars. Adam had a little tiny dent on the hood of the BMW that is now gone. And the Soar recently had a dent on it in the back, which was kind of weird, but it used to be right here. And it was two very minor, they were like decent size, but they weren't like deep dents that had shown up on the side there don't know where they came from but he did an awesome job and you'd never even tell that they were there so i'm really pumped on that the ls400 is still sitting here waiting for a barrel as soon as we get a barrel uh i will be able to start on the front end swap the barrel shipped out as of yesterday so we should have that very soon but until then, she's just gonna be chilling here. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're as excited as I am to get started on the front end swap. I was originally gonna be looking for in a full body kit, like an aim gain body kit or a vertex body kit, but I figured that this was much cooler and fits my kind of crazy style uh, that much more. So get stoked on it. And the next videos that are coming out are actually about this thing because we're finally gonna be starting the manual swap. So a long time coming, very excited for that. Look out for those videos because they'll be coming soon and I'll see you guys soon.